So I don't know if anybody's ever going to see this. Could just be from my eyes only and my one subscriber. <laughs> Thank you, by the way. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to call this video diary or vlog... I'm going to call it Shapeshifter, because I feel like if I was a superhero and I had a superpower, that would be it. That would be my ability to change shape. Um, I guess recently I've just thought about how remarkable it is that we as humans are capable of doing this. That, yes, you can grow as a child, you can grow into an adult, you can grow taller, but to get to a... Oh, hair on my chin. To get to a place where you're so overweight and to come down from that, to literally change the frame of your body, that's that's a remarkable thing that we're able to do that. I never ever ever would have thought that it was this possible for me, but I guess what I'm going to do is just start with a basic introduction. I'm not going to go into how or how I'm, what I'm doing right now, how I got to this place. I will, but, but not in this video. But so... So yeah, so as a kid, I was not overweight. Um, I would say that probably started around 12 or 13. Um, I'm going to insert pictures as I go. Um, but yeah, so so not not overweight as a kid. Not terribly active. I was I was bullied as a kid in team sports. And, um, didn't, didn't really do that. Tried. Just failed miserably. Uh, so I was not terribly active. But I was born in 1985, and we didn't have the video games that we do now. They were there, but not as prevalent. And uh, so kids actually played outside. And you play until the streetlights came on. It's, it's what we did. So, so I had that level of activity, but, but no, no, no huge athlete. Not, not in my family. Um, and neither of my parents are overweight. My mom struggled with a little bit of weight, but if You've ever seen her? She's a she's a, a small small little woman, and uh, and my dad's always been really fit, tall guy. Um, so it, it doesn't really run in my family. What it started with for me was 12 or 13, and I was a latchkey kid. So that meant that my parents were not home when I got in after school. Uh, let myself in. Um, didn't have any brothers or sisters. I'm an only child, and I would sit down and I would watch TV and food became synonymous with TV. I think it's like that for a lot of people. You eat when you go to the movies, you, you know, sit in front of the TV, have your dinner. It's, it's what people do. Um, so I would. I'd have freezies, popsicles. I'd sneak downstairs and get my mom's Christmas baking that she pre-baked and would have to bake again because I would eat it. Uh, so that's, that's what I would do. And you didn't really think about it at the time Obviously, being a kid, I'm not thinking, oh, what am I doing to my body? And my parents, I'm sure, just chalked it up to a growth spurt. Um, but my weight was on a steady incline. Um, all through my, my teenage years. All through college. Like, all through my adult life. 30 years old now. And about three years ago, I topped the scales at 300 pounds. I started my weight loss journey just before I got engaged, so that would put it about two years ago, so 2013, I can do math, 2013, so the spring of 2013. I know some people who it, it do these weight loss stories, I've seen lots of them, they're, they're motivating, and they'll put it down to the day, this is the day that I started my, my new life, um, I can't get you to the day. <laughs> so it was the spring, spring of 2013. Um, and it's been up and down, up and down. Um, I finally, within the last four or five months, got into a place where it is a total lifestyle change. So today, um, this morning when I weighed myself, I am 221 pounds. So from 300 to 221. If we can do math, that's about 79 pounds. I'm very, very proud of that. And I'm not done yet. I, I'm a little over halfway. My doctor would like to see me at 200 pounds by the end of the year, and today is October 23rd, 2015. So my doctor would like to see me lose about another 20 pounds before the end of the year. Totally doable. Um, I, th and I think that's why I'm starting to 
to get this on film, it might be some added motivation coming into the holiday season um, to get me through. We just passed Thanksgiving. I'll talk about that in another video. Um, I'm Canadian, so we've had our Thanksgiving already. Um, but with Christmas coming, so I'm a little nervous. Um, so I think maybe it, it, just being able to talk about talk about it might help me <laughs> get through it. Um, so my doctor would like to see me uh, at 200 by the end of the year. Ultimately, my doctor would be happy if I was 180 pounds. That would be awesome. Don't think I avoided that since high school. Um, I personally would... I, I think 160 is achievable, and I'd be happy with that. Um, maybe I'm reaching for the stars here, I don't know. But but definitely, I'll be happy when my doctor's happy. Because um, that's basically what it comes down to. I didn't start... I mean, when you see 300 on the scale... It's shock shocking. I, I don't know anybody who would really want to stay there. Um, I didn't start doing this for vanity purposes alone. I'd be completely bullshitting you if I said, yeah, you know, I've, it's for health only. That's the only reason. I don't care what I look like. Of course I care what I look like. Um, so, y yes, being happy with the image that I see in the mirror is great. Um, but but health was the primary was was the primary reason not the only reason but the primary one. It got to the point where I couldn't and the bed that I'm sitting on right now, I I couldn't get out of bed in the morning and put weight on my feet for about ten minutes. And I remember having to crawl to the bathroom because I had to pee so bad first thing in the morning. And I had to crawl because I couldn't put weight on my feet. It's like you know something has to change. And something has. So what I'll do is show you what we're working with today, what 221 pounds looks like on me. Uh, yeah, so let's do that. Yoink. Alright. So I'm not a whiz with a camera or anything, but uh, I'm just wearing a sweatshirt and jeans. It's nothing, nothing awesome and not really lit up that well. But yeah, so so this is this is 221 pounds. So compared to the pictures that you just saw, that's kind of yeah. So thank you for watching. Um, if you have, uh, if not, I'm sure I'll enjoy looking back on this and. Uh, getting some, something out of it myself. Um, should somebody see this and you want to comment or you want to leave me tips or extra advice or encouragement or a recipe, <laughs> uh, go ahead. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm certainly open to that. Uh, so we'll see you next time. Yeah.